Hello guys, this is Anish Bridge here with another rig show and uh, this is on version like 5 I think and so um, in the description there's a download for my rig and then there's also a media file link for the downloads of the textures because Turbo Squid has some problems with the copyright of the Minecraft textures um, can't use it for money and stuff so yeah, uh, version 2 uh, if you read, rig template version 2 Version 1 was mainly for your use, and version 2 was mainly for my use, but I decided to sell it. So, don't expect it to be as, um, as, uh, facially, uh, customizable as my version 1 rig, because that was for you. Okay, so let's get, get into the rig. Um, I'm gonna go through all the features again, and I'm gonna first go through the one, the new ones. Okay, so first new one is you can see I've changed the look of it, looks better in my opinion. And the feet, um, now it automatically adapts to the goal and you can even rotate it like this and it will always be adapted. And if you go too far it will do that point, uh, point, uh, point like that. And then if you like you can, since the since the axis of the goal is there, we can snap it to a surface. So if you click the snapping or, and snap to polygon snapping, like it'll snap to the stone or something. Yeah, it'll snap. So if you now move like that, you can see. Yeah, uh, this was my, for my use. It, it's Yes, it is a little bit more time consuming, time consuming to use these feet. But it's what the details make a good animation. So uh, yeah, so same body um, rotations and stuff. I show you that. It's really cool. Um, I improved the fingers. The better you remapped, plus some of the fingers in the previous version were out of place. Um, so if I just show you the fingers again. They look really good. I really love them. It it just makes everything easier. Also, and also it's really nice. And I fixed the thumb, so it's a little shorter now, which is better because my previous thumb was really too long. And yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and the feet they're parented to the pole. If you see, so you can rotate it like that, and it'll follow. Okay, and I also added shoulders so you can move them up and down. Plus, you can even move this one, but you cannot select the knees because um, if you move them, it will it will mess up the IK. Okay, so now let's get to the facial feature. So um, this is the mouth. You can even change the mouth if you go here. Uh, mouth type. Can change it to a, a square one or a circular one. I like the circular one. And if you like, if you don't want the mount controller, you can off it and then just use this one. Uh, yeah, lip sync and stuff. You see here, lip sync. Just load in your file, your sound file here, and then mess with the settings. You can change. Yeah, auto auto breathe doesn't work anymore. Um, I had some problems with it and it gave a lot of lag from it. Uh, yeah, you can change the eyebrow, pupil, eye color. I'll, I'll demonstrate that later how to customize. So, till then, we can, I can show you. So, say you have a movement here and you want to uh, change it a little. So, you would uh, go to the manual control, like so. Oops. And you can move it up. Sideways, you can even move it inwards, like so, giving cool effects. Plus, you can move the teeth manually as well as use the user data, even the tongue. Move the tongue, oh, select that, put the teeth, then you can move it up and down. And then, if you like, you can even, yeah, do that. Uh, so undo, 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 okay, so the teeth are here also, oh, they don't meet, 
Alright. Okay, never mind. That's the top. That's the bottom. Then we have the eyes. Eyes controller. The reason why I have it at separate levels and stuff, or separate controllers, is because when you keyframe, sometimes you mix up the keyframes and stuff. So, yeah. So, eyes. If you like, you can move it here. So it doesn't have cross side, but I like it like this. Can change the position without having to deal with a lot of lag. Um, I ch this set, this one took a really long time to make. Uh, blinking, scaling, uh, and scaling again. Blink with one eye, and then the cool thing is you can also manually control it, like so. And okay, uh, now the eyebrows can use this, use this to do that, use this to do that. Yeah, it's really cool. And then you can move it up and down, and you can even move it manually around the face. Um, and also, a cool thing I do for the default looking eyebrows, I guess, not default, but yeah, is I do this and then I change the scale. Yeah, I added this option to change the scale of the eyebrows and then just move it up a little and now we have a cool looking, cool looking eyebrows. It's for my Zig character, not for this character. It doesn't look nice on this character. Uh, yeah, I named him Zig. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't come up with a good name. So you have all the user data here as well. If you just move this cube up and then It'll it'll disable these three here, and you have full control here. I like to have it here because I don't know why, but I like to have it here. I'm used to it. And now we have new visual selectors. Um, we have the mouth to make life easier. Tongue, teeth. You can select them like that, and just move them around. Head. Have all the eyebrows and stuff and then fingers I added it like this uh, because I can figure out a way of doing it uh, so select if you select all of them you can uh, just move them to the right or left and it will it will do everything for you plus you can select them individually and then you select just one yeah it's really it's really good to use it so just make all of them and move it back into place really easy delete um, if you're having problems and you have a bad computer um, if you just select this and you go into control head mouth and then you should see all these pose morphs are selected under the mouth controls um, this I didn't notice this but this added a lot of lag um, but once you delete it uh, there will be no lag whatsoever so just select it and this and then select one and then press command uh, control Z to undo you can't just select this and delete it I don't know why it's just a, oh I think you can okay uh, just just delete it and you should have no lag uh, because my rigid bends here um, they're made in a different way uh, like it's not a, it's range mappers and stuff uh, plus weighting and everything so it doesn't use any lag, uh, it doesn't have any lag but if you see the skin gets messed up because I made it for my use and this this use, if you I show you my zig character uh, which is that's rig zig so if you see I have no Problem like that. That's what I do. Um, I suggest making. If you're using this rig, I suggest making character like mine. Plus, adding hair looks cool. And yeah. Um, so I will show you. Okay, and the other media. I uh, I'll show you the, the look of my other rig also. So this one it has a lot more features um, for facial customizations. Plus. Um, Yeah, okay, you can select this. Ah, uh, I don't know what to start. Okay, let's start here. So we have the user here. If you want FK arms, 
which is what I used to use, and FK legs, or both of them, like so. You can select the arm. Yeah, this rig automatically adds a ton of lag. <laughs> you can select the arm and move it around, like so. And then you can have sharp bends or normal bends, if you just select that. Really cool. Uh, I like to have normal bends for this rig. Then you can change the type of eyes. Yeah, anything really. And then eyebrow type, fat or thin. This is an old rig, so don't expect it to be so good. But yeah, it is still good. <laughs> Change the nose. I don't plan on using it though. Maybe for the background character. Mouth, you can change the type of mouth, teeth, feet, you can even off it. And then we have the facial features here. Can, yeah, we, you already know of this. Eyes, mouth. And yeah, we are already went through this. Um, then the customization thing, uh, so if you select that, and then you have this rig items and the media fire. Uh, when you download from media fire, rig items, um, you have the extras, items, skins, and oh yeah, just that. So the extras contain stuff you can just grab on. I don't know, you need to first go to layers and unlock the layer. So just unlock it like that, and then you can grab some stuff you like, so straps, um, can add a bag, yeah, um, real life MC, the real life MC showed me this, uh, items, you can add armor, you have to, um, you have to bind it by yourself, I removed it because, uh, uh, yeah, because of other reasons, and, of lag reasons you have tools balls you can add it fishing rod which has dynamics on it so if you hit play oh yeah um you can move this around and then i have tools which is animated i'm um, not animated but yeah you can even change the oh it's not working oh it's working okay so you can even change the, key, the type of tool even the book, even the book. Um, if you select that, attributes, you can change the, yeah, and you can even unparent the arrow, so when you rotate this, oops, okay. okay, so now we have the skins folder, so what the skins is, is I give you skins, and, um, and you can grab whatever you like. So there's Assassin's Creed guy. This will work better on my other rig because you can customize the face to the character. If you want to add your own, uh, just remove the eyebrows and remove the mouth and remove the eyes of the face. Just go onto Photoshop and just fix that. And then you should be able to make your own character. So, oh, nice looking character. I might have to make one like it. Yeah, this looks good. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else? Mm. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to install them. So when you download it, you would get... When you download my rig, you would have this one. And when you download my media file folder, you will have this one, the rig items. So, uh, what you have to do, make a new finder. Go and search for Cinema 4D R13. And then, yeah, the folder here. Um, oh, it should be in your applications. Uh, Maxon, Maxon, Maxon. Me, I move the folder out of the Maxon folder. Um, if I can find it. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is, Maxon. And then, see, it should be in here, but I removed it and I have it somewhere else. But be careful when you do that because it can mess up something. But if you have it newly downloaded, you can move it out, don't worry. So then go to library, browser, and just drag this in. These two folders in. And then you should have it installed, restart your Cinema 4D. And then if you go into your content browser, 
yeah you should you should be you should get the folder locked you shouldn't be able to edit it but yeah um only the creator of the folder can edit it uh so it's yeah really cool yeah so thanks for watching um and hope you enjoy using the rig bye